So one way of understanding IP addresses better is to just simply recognize that they, they are actually binary numbers. And we convert them to something other than binary just because we as humans don't understand ones and zeros as well as we understand other kinds of numbers. So this is a quick video to show you how to convert an IP address to binary so that you can understand it better and do some, do some interesting things with it. So to convert an IP address to binary, first you need to know how to convert decimal numbers to binary. So do you remember when you learned how to count originally and they'd say, here's a number, 1,329,063. And then they say, you can express that as 1 million plus 300,000 plus 20,000 plus 9,000 plus 60 plus 3. So that's, that's that. And it's, you can look at it like this, where you, you put them all on top of each other, and it's this 3 plus 6, 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 9, and you add them all up, and you get the number. Well, in binary, it's the same kind of thing. So, if you say, I've got 11111, and how do you express that? Well, you can, you can express that as 10000 plus 01000 plus, and then do it exactly the same way, right? 00001, and you add them all up, and that's what you get. Okay. And we know from before, and I have a previous video on this where the, this one is 2 to the power of 0, and this is 2 to the power of 1, this is 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4. Right? So this is 2 to the power of 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 4, this is 8, this is 16. And you add them all up together, and then this represents those all those numbers added together. Okay. So let's try to convert some numbers from decimal to binary. So I'm going first, I'm going to take the number 12, decimal number 12, convert that to binary. Then we'll do 36, then 65, then 127. Ready? Here we go. 12. Well, I know that decimal 12 is equal to 8 plus 4, right? So what I want to do is, if you know that in binary, this first one is 1, and this is 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, like we talked about, then if you can express the number you're looking for as all of these added together, then we can do it easily. So 8 plus 4, this one plus this one. So we know that 8 in binary is that, and we know that 4 is that, so we add them up, that is binary for 12. That's it. Okay, what's the next one I said we do? 36. Okay, so I know that 36 is equal to, first I'll find the first number I get that isn't greater than 36. That's too much, too much, ah, 32. And then 32 plus 4. Right. 32 plus 4 is going to give me 36. So I'm going to take 32 and 4. So I'm going to add that's 32. That's 4. And this is binary for 36. It's not so hard, right? Okay. 65. 65. That's too big. 64. 64 plus 1 going to give me 65. So 64 plus 1, there's 64, and then 1, add them up, that's 64. Oh, sorry, 65. This is 60. If that was a 0, it would be 64. But I'm adding 1, 65. Okay, next one. 127. 128 is too many, so I start with 64. See, this one's not as easy to do in my head about, hmm, 127 is this plus this plus this, but we can say, we know it's 64 plus something, 64 plus, and then what do I need to get 127? 64 plus 
32, what does that give me? That gives me 96. That's not enough. So what if I add the next one, 16? 64 plus 32 plus 16, that gives me 112. Still not enough. If I add the 8, that gives me 120. Still not enough. If I add another 4, it gives me 124. 2 more. 26 plus 1. So basically, for 127, I need to add all of these numbers together. So that means I can add all of these together. So it would really be this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this. Plus this, plus this. All of these added together, I'm going to add them all up. That is 127. And in a previous video about counting, when you're counting and you know that when you get up, when all of these are maxed up, maxed out, the next one, that one, this number plus one, these all become zero and this advances to one, which we would know that 128 is just 1 and all zeros. So that is converting 127 to buyers. Okay, so we know that. And it's also important to remember that IP addresses are not actually decimal numbers. They're this weird mashup of decimal numbers and binary numbers, and it's called dotted decimal. So you've got this number, dot, this number, dot, this number, dot, this number. And the way it works out is each of these are 8 bits. That means the max is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is 255. So this can be 0 up to 255, and so can all the rest of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this looks like in binary. So if you convert 192 to binary, and you could try this again because I just showed you how. 192 in binary is this. 168 is this. 5 is this. 2 is this. So this IP address is this binary number. So if you write it all together like that, and you were to convert that binary number into a decimal number, you would get... 807,993,968. That, this is the actual IP address. But this is too complicated for humans, so what we do is we put it into this format. That's it. So now you know how to convert an IP address into binary, and knowing how to do that, and knowing that IP addresses are actually binary numbers, will help you understand more complicated things like subnetting and other stuff.